Have you ever seen the movie Limitless? At the start of the movie, Bradley Cooper's character Eddie Mora is a total bum of a writer, just deteriorating in a world of his own laziness. But then he gets this drug that lets him tap into 100% of his brain power. With the drug, he becomes hyper-focused and hyper-productive. He can essentially do anything he sets his mind to. My story, on the other hand, is the reverse of that. I grew up with a prescription to my own version of that drug. And when I got off it, I went from hyper-productive to total bum. For Mora, the drug was NZT. Mine had many names. Adderall, Ritalin, Vyvanse, they were all prescribed for ADHD, but they all had the same effects as NZT. I couldn't stay messy on it. I hadn't had a cigarette in six hours, hadn't eaten. So, abstemious and tidy? What was this? A drug for people who wanted to be more anal retentive? I wasn't high, wasn't wired, just clear. I knew what I needed to do and how to do it. Pills are good! Pills are good! It was incredible, but just like for Mora, it wasn't sustainable. In the end, he figured out how to taper off the drugs and keep the benefits. Not me. When I cut myself off, the structure of my world crumbled. I went from productive on the ball university student to post-grad couch heathen. So we backtracked a tad. Tad! A tad, Lloyd! My idea of discipline became something I'd butt heads with constantly. And the premise of achieving my potential was only a recurring thought because I'd use it to beat myself down more often than lift myself up. But that's not what this video series is about. This is about what it means to climb back out of the darkness without the drugs. It's about the process of rebuilding my world and the tools I came across that helped me most. And as for why I'm making these, to be honest, I don't know. But I'm making sound, and that's the important thing. <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. Sometimes I think that's the only thing that's important, really. You know? It's just letting each other know we're here. Maybe because I think I have something to share that might help someone out there. Maybe because I think this might be a stepping stone for my career. Or perhaps just because I'm worried that my world might come crumbling down once more and I might have to start over entirely. But at least I'll have these tiny, personally distilled reminders to set me on the path to rebuilding again. And that might bring me a shred of comfort. Maybe even some courage. I've been practicing this speech a little bit, did I rush it? Felt like I rushed it. That was good, I liked it.